Once upon a time, Courtney, Paris, and their good friends Bobby and Keiko decided to take a magical adventure via Disney Cruise Line to Alaska. And today, you're coming with, like it or not. It all started in Vancouver. That's Canada, eh? It was so clean and gorgeous, so I'll have to return one day. But first, Alaska awaits. Okay, we're getting ready to get on to the Disney Wonder. Come along, join us. I have never been on this ship before. I've been on the Disney Dream and the Disney Wish. I wonder how it's gonna be. I wonder how it's gonna be. All aboard. Paris, are you excited? Um, yeah, I'm super excited. Is Courtney excited? I don't know, I'll ask her. Wow, is this gonna be the whole trip? I got so many. <laughs> I'm regretting this already. I feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, me and you, oh, we're like polar opposites when it comes to, <laughs> bear with me. Oh my gosh, that's enough, enough. Yeah, this is What's my favorite part. Plan. You wanna do Color Me Family? The color, the color yeah, the, the Color, color Me Family. family. Color me. Please welcome all the Color Me Family. Hey, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney never wants to take the stairs. Of course, when I'm carrying I heck of bags, you take the stairs, then I'll. It's only three we have to go up to floor 14. No, we're going to the sixth floor. Chill out. And I'm carrying all the bags. I've got six suitcases. Three at a time. Okay, maybe two at a time. I need a break. Someone hand me my Evian. This is how you get your workout on a cruise ship. Oh. Knock, knock. Okay, here is the room. We have the bed here. That's where we just came in. Say hi, pair. And then the bathroom is right there. One bathroom, one shower. They're separate rooms. This part closes off if you needed separate spaces. This turns into a bed. And I believe there's one other bed somewhere hidden, right? Maybe not in this one. But often there's one that like also pulls down from the ceiling if you have four people in your room. Getting ready area. Here's the veranda. This is going to be beautiful when we're in Alaska. We'll just have like a nice view to enjoy. And then Keiko and Bobby's room is right next to ours. And that's the room, that's the room tour. Let's see if Paris fits in the shower. <laughs> Just barely. Barely. I have plenty of room in there. But. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> I kept saying it feels like the future because it feels like. Like San Francisco a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it feels like, that. it feels like the future. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. All Disney crews start with a sail away party where we say goodbye to land and hello to the open seas. Paris had to get one of many magical coffees for the trip and then we wave goodbye to Vancouver to start our cruise. Night one, we're at Animator's Palette. This is a restaurant that is on a lot of the cruise ships. I think I've been to three cruise ships and they've all had this restaurant. So. Every cruise ship has a variety of restaurants and you're assigned a new one every night. Animator's Palette is so cute with a fun take on Disney animation and an interactive dinner experience. What if it's not everything I dreamed it would be? This is like giving me a little bit, what's that restaurant that we always go to in New York? This is Tia and Sympathy Box. Yeah. I got cheesecake, but I don't think I want the fudge, so I'm just gonna eat the cheesecake. And then Mickey showed up at dinner. Hi, Mickey. Yay. Well, I'm so exhausted. So we just got back from dinner and you can see our room is kind of clean because all of that was on the floor because I'm messy. It's like what, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock? I don't know, I'm so tired and I ate so much today, but we have to wake up early tomorrow because we're gonna go whale watching. In between all the sailing and eating, there are plenty of character meet and greet moments like Captain Minnie. Hello, we have made it to Alaska and we're currently standing in line we already met Mickey and we were matching and then I did a quick change and now I'm in my Minnie Mouse outfit and we're gonna go meet her. Keiko, of course, looks so cute per usual while I did a quick change. We're currently on our third outfit of the day. I'm dressed like Daisy Duck and we're getting ready to meet her. But I need you to look behind me because we have some of the most beautiful fjords right back there as we're kind of sailing through. Like the view is amazing. Hello, Alaska. This is why we took this cruise to see things like this that we've never seen before. Oh, and to wear cute matching Alaskan outfits, obviously. It's an iceberg. Hey girl, we don't here. say iceberg <laughs> on this boat. <laughs> iceberg. We don't talk about icebergs, but we do talk about Miss Daisy Duck. She is so fabulous. Work it, Daisy. Okay, so you guys know that I do not like boats, cold, snow, or ice, and we have like all of those here in one combination. Courtney's such a hater. 
I just feel like there's nothing to be scared of. Just because you won't watch the Titanic doesn't mean that we can't go out on a last Don't cruise. say that word on our boat. Look how beautiful it is. This is what you would have missed if you just let your fear keep you. I, I am very happy that uh, I, I came on this here. trip. Um, I mean, have you ever seen anything like this? No, this is stunning. You need to chill out and calm down and enjoy the view. <laughs> Whoa. So earlier we spotted a ton of whales as we were sailing through and you can see their little tails. Keiko decided that they were all baby whales. So we saw like six or seven. <laughs> baby they were whales. baby whales. <laughs> they were baby whales. So we've been waiting in line to see all the characters and you know, you have to wait kind of a little bit, but you have this view to entertain you while you're waiting. So it goes by very quickly and you can spot whales. Disneyland and Disney World have to make their lines a little bit more interactive after this. Oh, you want you want to be watching whales while you're waiting to beat Mickey I've, at Disneyland? I've a little bit of an weather. extreme request, but sure. Fine. I mean, how do you beat this? You can't. That's why you have to go on an Alaskan Disney cruise. A morning of sailing through the fjords sure did help us work up an appetite. So let's do another quick change. So we're here at Palo, and I think we got the best seat in the house because look at the view behind us. I really feel like anything I capture isn't going to do this justice, but it's one of the most stunning things I've ever experienced. Palo is an adults-only restaurant, really enough reason to book the whole cruise. How, How do you find this How magic find land? This magic? We just zigged and zagged came through, dodged icebergs, Paris. I, I, no, I haven't seen any. There are none. <laughs> it's our favorite place to eat, maybe on the planet, so you have to go. So we just had brunch at Paulo, and um, now we're about to roll on back to our room because we ate pretty much everything. I think there were six dessert options. We ordered five. There's only four of us. Had the best server. Brunch at Paulo is a must. You have to make sure you do it when you come, and we'll come back later for dinner at Paulo. Next time, ask me to talk before the meal because I don't, my brain doesn't work so good after I ate so much. <laughs> Holy glacier. Look at this thing behind me. It's so blue. It's so beautiful. And we've been running around this whole boat trying to capture it at its perfect angle. I think we finally found the spot. And come look, look. Stunning, right? I've never seen anything like this before. When we were closer to the ice, there were actual seals on top of the ice. Bobby and Keiko took some photos, so I will insert them here. I've been enjoying this because it feels like maybe something that you'll see once in a lifetime. Strive twinning with Keiko, yeah, yeah. She's also wearing the mittens that I designed because she's so loyal. This is my fifth outfit of the day. Look at this. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously an Alaskan expert at this point. It's pretty impressive. Why is the water this blue? I don't understand. Whoa, this is stunning. I just want to run and frolic like all up in there. So that's a wrap on day one. Good morning. We are getting off the boat for the first time on this cruise. There is the wonderful Dizzy Wonder. And over here is the little boat that we're gonna get on. We're going on a whale and marine mammal cruise. It says whale sighting is guaranteed or money back. By the way, we're in something called Icy Strait Point and it's beautiful. It's not very big, but it is a great place where you can see some whales. From the Titanic, just come into the main cabin, put on your life vest and go. All right, here we go. We've seen a few whales. I haven't been able to record any of them. Hopefully, I'll be able to get one on camera for you because I've seen like three or four. At this point, Paris was a little stressed because water isn't his favorite thing, but where's your sense of adventure? After about half an hour boat ride, we made it out deep into the ocean to see some whales and I somehow became a marine biologist. Being out at sea increased my IQ. Keiko in her natural habitat. <laughs> so she's saying the tail of the whale is called the fluke and they're as identifiable as a fingerprint on a human. Depending on if you can see it, you can actually take a photo of it, post it to the website happywhale.com with like basically land latitude and longitude of where you saw it and they'll be able to identify the whale for you which is so cute there's no chance i'm just regurgitating information that would be plagiarism you got your outfit like on point today huh yeah so there's some stellar sea lions back behind us they can get to be up to 11 feet unlike the california ones that bark these ones burp and roar you can kind of see them over there. No, that's a bark, Paris. <laughs> we need to do some whale calls. Whale. <laughs> so we're looking at humpback whales. 
Paris has a giant camera up there. Purse. purse or no purse, I was able to see the whales. I think our whale calls must have worked because here come the whales. Look at all the whales. Look, do you see the spout? The place was swimming with them. It's kind of cold, but... It's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I can do a nap now. <laughs> so then we sailed a bit to see sea lions before popping back on the boat. This is very much just like a port-ish town vibe, but that's still fun. There's a bald eagle over there. Oh, look, oh, look. Okay, okay. <laughs> we finished our whale watching tour, walked back to the boat, got something to eat changed our clothes and now we're going to explore icy straight point it's a cute little town here yeah. in alaska first stop in alaska officially mm -hmm. we've heard that it's cute so let's go check it out okay come with us there was tons to do like shop places to eat and a few activities like zip lines and gondolas we opted for the gondola i'm not sure why even though it's not like i'm afraid of heights at all it's just not necessarily my favorite thing. we just got off the green one but we found the red one and now we're gonna ride that. Apparently it takes you up to the world's largest zip line, but I don't think we're gonna do that. We don't have time. We have to get back to the boat because we got a massage. Here you can see a little bit of the wilderness situation and some animal activity. Whee! Bear sightings. Trail closed due to bear sightings. Okay. What if they climbed the tree and then jumped off the tree? Bobby really can't help himself. He just has to scare Paris. And truthfully, he doesn't even realize what he's doing, which is very fun for all of us. Oh, oh, oh. This is crazy. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like it. Why? <laughs> I don't like it. Why? Oh, my ears are not... ah! Why is it rocking? <laughs> don't look at the one next to it. Don't look at the one next to it. Like, oh, it looks so crazy. I know, it's Keep like just covered in fog. Guess what? This is the part where we drop straight down. Bobby! <laughs> it's very beautiful up here, but I just feel like we're in the sky. Like, it's just clouds. Who knew these adventure seekers would be up for heights and bears and everything else? Bobby and Keiko are truly a delight to travel with, but it's time to get down. Look up at that first tree. There's an eagle. Do you see it? He's up there. Well, that's a wrap on Icy Straight Point. So now we're heading back onto the boat because we have massage appointments. Ooh. So now we need to get into a relaxing mood. I hope this calms you down a bit. So we came back from Icy Straight Point and now I am in a robe waiting to get a massage because the spa is one of my favorite things to do when I'm on a Disney cruise. I feel like I say that about everything. <laughs> So I had my massage and then I went and changed. I still didn't put any makeup on, but I have lipstick on. And we are about to have our frozen deck party. So instead of pirates night, they do freezing the night away and uh, it's gonna happen right here. These shows are very cute and fun for the whole family. There's no shortage of character interactions or entertainment on a Disney cruise. Where's Anna? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, but even if it's not necessarily your thing, you can always escape to somewhere else on the ship and enjoy the peace and quiet. So now we're heading to Palo to have dinner. This is one of our favorite things to do on the cruise, hence why we're doing it twice. Well, we had brunch before, but dinner is a different experience. Come along. We're back at Palo, and look how cute Pear looks. You have to dress up a bit here, which makes it extra fun. While brunch is more of a prefix, dinner is a la carte, so you really need to do both at Palo. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Eat some bread, eat some bread. 
We tried the pizza bread pasta, risotto, scallops, more pasta, salmon, mac and cheese, lobster, potatoes, mousse, tiramisu, and more things. It's all delicious, resulting in a food coma and a wonderful night of being rocked to sleep by the ship. But the next day was rocky. You'll see. So we got up early to go dog sledding on a glacier because of the weather it got canceled. So now we're here at Port Adventure seeing if we could book anything else because that was like the reason I booked this trip. I really just wanted to live my sled dog dream life, but instead I'm out here chasing waterfalls at the Mendenhall Glacier, trying not to look disappointed. And yes, I am dramatic. I guess I didn't realize exercise would be involved, but it's fine. But I will say, just like every other inch of Alaska, this is gorgeous. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Found a porcupine. He's having a little snack up there. We're almost here after a two mile hike. It's been so long. How am I hiking like this? Your boy's a little out of breath. I might need to get in shape. Oh my kid. Okay. You're like villain in like a decom series right now. <laughs> this is the best compliment I've ever received in my entire life. <laughs> Look, a waterfall. This was really something to see. I even climbed all the way up there and raced Paris. Of course I won. We made it to the waterfall. We made it. It's so beautiful. We're out of breath because we've been running. It's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. That's why we're out of breath. There's like greenery all around and then there's like they ice probably in the can't water. hear a word you're saying it's oh, so loud that's probably true do i need to talk louder no. i think they can hear me now yeah so we finished up at the waterfall now and we're walking back because we're going to go see snow dogs but not in the snow but not in the snow just at their summer camp yes it was a, of course too foggy today yeah. But they have a summer camp where they stay in shape because they have so much energy. And they have puppies. And they have puppies. So we're going to go see them there. Yeah. Hi. Look at my shirt. Honestly. We got a bear. I don't have anything on my shirt. My necklace is a lion. And I got the eye of the tiger. Okay. Lions and tigers and bears. I hope you two appreciate knowing how actually corny you are. She loves it. So far, if wilderness is your thing, I would say that... Alaska is definitely one of the prettiest places I've ever. I'm not very seen. outdoorsy. But, but what do you I think still so like far? It. I would say until today it had for sure exceeded my expectations. But today I had expectations to go on dog sledding tour and I'm not going on dog sledding tour. So I don't know if I could say that anymore. But until today, for sure it exceeded my expectations. Yeah, we're also what's there, yeah. So Courtney's on the phone right now. Um, and I'm pretty sure our third excursion of the day has gotten canceled um at this point we are just going to enjoy downtown juno and maybe like eat some some food and um <laughs> just chill because it's clear that we're not meant to go on an excursion today it's okay it's not your fault <laughs> thank you have a good one bye <laughs> the bus got a flat tire <laughs> so they had to cancel it on us I hope they're okay. Yeah. They couldn't just have the dog sled them over here. <laughs> Criminal offensive side. I'm so sick of you. I'm going to go buy something to make me feel better. Well, the silver lining here, Court. Oh, that was a death stare. I'm so cursed. <laughs> I came on this whole trip to sled with some doggies. You and... will not be seeing any husbands. Ah. Silver lining, downtown Juno is very cute. Very cute. I mean, fine. Is downtown Juno cute? Yes. Does it have sled dogs? No. And I was truly heartbroken. So I had to turn to fudge, obviously. We decided to eat our feelings. So we spent $30 on fudge. And an Alaskan cookie. This is like, oh, okay, you're going to go first? And chocolate chip. There's something else in there, though. Okay. This is one of the best foods I've ever had. Wow. That's, a, that's high price. And I am a cookie connoisseur. Oh. I would like another bite, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got another. I would like that. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a brownie cookie. It's like very thick. Oh, a lot of chocolate in there. A lot of chocolate. It's amazing, though. Juno, scoring points. Scoring points? We're cursing you know? And because sweets weren't enough. We're going to get fish tacos from here. So I got fish tacos. Stunning. Stunning. And what'd you get? Fish tacos. Oh, well. you copied me. Dirty fries. Dirty fries. Dirty mouth. Clean it up. They're really good. Juno. Who knew? If you come to Juno, get the dirty fries. 
So now we're in this cute little coffee shop. It's giving like Gilmore Girls in Alaska vibes. And um, Paris is gonna get a coffee. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm I'll so get like a hot tea it. or something. But, yeah. Look, there's a doggo. Yeah. Oh. That's the only doggo I got to see all day. <laughs> so we got our coffee. Well, I, I had a chai and I drank it already. This is just an endorsement now channel for Heritage <laughs> Coffee in Juneau, Alaska. It's so good. Everyone should go to Juno, Alaska just to have the coffee. Just for the coffee. Yeah. Just yeah. for the mocha. And the cookie. And the cookies. And right. the fudge. Yes. And we, the glaciers and the waterfalls and the, and the tacos and the, the fries, the dirty fries. Oh, and the dirty fries. So we just stopped and hung out in that coffee shop for a little bit and met some people, which was really fun. People on other boats, people who live here. We're hoping to run into Bobby before we have to get back on the boat. Oh, and the other thing we did is we went into a little vintagey bookstore and we bought Bobby some books. He collects vintage cookbooks for his channel. So we were able to get him some and we're gonna surprise him with them. I think he's one of those people that's really fun to give gifts like to. Like Cherie, yeah. We have to make sure that we get a gift for Cherie. We got a gift for my mom already. That's all for now. Look, there's a husky. We found him! Bye. Yay! We got you a present. Are you putting me on the spot? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so good. The wait, wild game cookbook. Wait, look at that one because the aesthetic on the inside is so you. These are they like are yes. so like retro recipe vibes, right? Oh I love it. He it loves so it. Much. You're welcome. And you do the next retro recipe. Yay! <laughs> like, follow, and subscribe. Retro recipes. Yay! <laughs> so then we were just exploring all the cute little shops, talking to the locals. This is average. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a respectable bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go go stand next to it for, for scale. I can take it. You could not. Bobby kept dawdling, and we were dangerously close to missing the boat. Gotta make it. Bobby still hasn't come. Bobby. We walked in. You have to go back and get him. Bobby, Bobby, save yourself. Go back and get Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> but we made it. Just in time, for Bobby. Bobby, save yourself. But we made it just in time for... So now we're heading to the spa. Spa day. Maybe we're not. I think we're at the wrong place. This is Paolo, girl. This is Paolo. Okay. Well, we walked walk to the wrong side. I just, I'm just swagging out, okay? I got on my swim trucks. It's just cold. You're free. We shouldn't be out here. I feel great. It's Alaska. You're dumb. I'm still cooler than a polar bear's toenails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the nerve of you to talk about my outfit. I look good. Yeah, but you got on like eight different seasons all at once. And it looks good. You got on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let the people see. You got on moon boots. Winter. Winter time with fuzzy socks. Winter. Then you got on this tennis skirt summer. that says summer, spring. You got on the bathing suit. Summer. A winter coat winter. and a bucket hat. You don't know what season you in. I know that I'm on an Alaskan cruise. You think you're going to the Caribbean. Taking this opportunity to show you the adults only pool. There are quite a few adults only sections on Disney Cruise Line. And we usually take advantage of this mostly for photos, but also if you want to enjoy a uh, adult only hot tub, there's a bar, there's a spa right here. We finally made it. So we're back at Animator's I'm Palette just tonight. This guy. <laughs> and this is fun. I'm going to kind of tell you what happened. So, whatever you draw in here, they're going to animate it up on the screen later as part of the show. I'm trying to <laughs> Look at the shape. Look at the shape. Can I have another one? <laughs> but no, you should have made her live with it. <laughs> Wait, is, this, is this a contest? Is this a contest? I what? think it's a contest. Classic Virgo rule following Keiko and go with the flow Bobby are doodling their hearts out while we enjoyed the first course. Then we watched the show and it was time for our animations to come to life. Bobby! Keiko! from Ketchikan. We just got off the boat Whoop. and now we're wandering around. We don't have an excursion for today but there is like kind of this like fishy sea vibe going on here. Apparently you can see 
bears catching salmon and there's a lumberjack show and we're gonna try to do both of those because we have quite a few hours before we have to be back on the boat. Bobby is insistent that Keiko eat some Alaskan king crab. So we're maybe gonna do that. Paris is, is insistent that we don't see bears. So someone's gonna, be, someone's gonna be unhappy because Keiko really wants to see the bears. She wants to cover herself in syrup. It's <laughs> a guarantee. It's a guarantee. Stay tuned to see um, who wins this battle. Probably Keiko. Rare sighting of me and jeans, but of course I'm wearing a beret and we're off to find some crab for Keiko. This was like the only thing she wanted to do, so we had to make sure it happened. This place kind of reminded me of the crusty crab from SpongeBob, so naturally it's where we decided to go. So we found the Lumberjack show. We just walked up and we were able to buy tickets. There's a Disney only show and I think Goofy participates in that. And there's a non-Disney show that they have like every few hours so depending on which one you wanted to experience you can pick here but you don't have to buy it on the boat we were able to walk off and buy it directly so the disney show is 54 dollars. the non-disney show is 39.95 so depending on which one you want to get there's usually only one disney show a day it does sell out so we were advised to get our tickets now um even though it's only about noon look at how cute keiko's outfit is always so darling <laughs> What is the sweater? It's a it's a warm sweater. Why is it like a poison? It's what? A psycho bunny. Guys, can you stand up so I can get your outfit for the vlog? Wearing orange and green and some boots. Apple Watch is also orange, and that's also orange. Yeah, because you're a cat. Oh. <laughs> a lot of work for that payoff. Yeah, well, you were being very crabby. Huh? Or... <laughs> Welcome to Catch a Can. This is our last stop on the Alaskan cruise, so we decided not to book an excursion, and we thought it would just be fun to wander around and see what happens. Bobby, <laughs> step away from the <laughs> So we made it to Herring Cove. We just took a cab here. There are a lot of tours that come here. We thought we'd be able to just show up to any tour and see some bears, but we probably should have planned ahead. Oops. We have no clue where we're going. We're lost in the back country in the woods. They're looking for bears, so not me. I'm not looking. There are no bears here. So this part of the video has a little bit of a higher rating because Creek Street once upon a time used to be a red light district. Now it's mostly just a touristy spot uh, and it's very cute, but I just wanted to give that warning before we proceed. <laughs> Bobby and Keiko getting their photos on. Be sure to follow both of them or else. And of course we had to film a little bit too. Did you see what that says? I saw it. So we've seen a lot of dead fish and we learned that basically this is salmon breeding season or spawning season. And what the salmon do is they swim up here, they lay their eggs if they're a girl, or they fertilize their eggs if they're a boy, and then they die immediately after. And that's their cycle of life. Keiko continues to be a full nature photographer. Isn't she cute? Alaska is so special because you can just be walking and then run into just like straight up waterfall. Yeah, you don't have to chase them, they're everywhere. Okay. So this is a fish ladder. All the jumping go fishies go i'm not really sure why this exists maybe you'll tell me why in the comments but now we're off to see the lumberjack show <laughs> Seeing a lumberjack show was definitely not on my bingo card, and so I didn't have really any expectations for how it would go down, but this is what we saw. Lots of guys chopping wood, climbing things. Goofy was there. It was a whole experience. And after the show, we had a little jaunt back, saw Ketchikan Fire Station, got a shirt for my mom, boarded back on the boat before having our final dinner on board. Then we had to pack up and say goodbye to one of the best Disney cruises I've ever been on. If you're considering taking an Alaskan Disney cruise, what are you waiting for? Book it now because you'll remember it 
forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this vlog, if you enjoyed the style of it. We kind of worked hard to switch it up a little bit. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You know the drill. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, I love you. So I hope you love you too. Goodbye.